Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, coming today to the press conference announcing a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the res uh, those responsible for the 2006 homicide of 15-year-old uh, Robert Masonette. Uh, Robert was killed exactly at this location uh, by three to four individuals who basically accosted him, attacked him violently, and left him unconscious. We will have a presentation by the Sun Carrington Foundation. Uh, they have offered a $5,000 reward for information leading to the person persons responsible for this uh, horrific incident. We will also have uh, Police Chief Bob Simmons uh, speak, along with uh, Jennifer Hicks of the Sun Carrington Foundation. And we also will have a presentation by the aunt, Priscilla. Uh, she will give you some information about uh, Chief. Thank you and good morning. First off, I want to start off with uh, expressing my appreciation to the, to the Sun Current Foundation for stepping forward and breathing some hopefully new life into this investigation. I believe this case can be solved and will be solved. We just need that one leak of information that will get us to the next lead and the next lead and bring some resolve to this whole thing. Once again, I want to thank the uh, Sun Carrington Foundation, and I'll introduce Jennifer here to give you uh, some information. Good morning. Um, we're simply here today to let you know that uh, we have again five thousand dollars in this case. Uh, hopefully, lead to information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for the homicide. Of Robert Masonette, a 15-year-old young man who was brutally beaten out here in the middle of the day for no particular reason. We have done, we, our foundation has to date captured 38 murder suspects. We've offered over $3.2 million in rewards. So far, we've paid out $272,000 in 29 cases and we currently have cases in 47 states. We're asking your community and anyone who may know anyone in your community to come forward with anything you know, something you said, something you saw, something you heard, and be part of the effort to make this right. We want to support the family. We're here as a tool for the Alcoa Police Department. We're asking for you to be a part in this and to help find the answers. Thank you. At this point, uh, I would like uh, Priscilla and the family members from the Masonette family to step forward. Um, I first want to thank the Police Department for reopening my nephew's case. And I want to thank the, the uh, Carol Sun Foundation for, for putting up the reward again for my nephew. Even though it's been about two and a half years to my family, it feels like it was just yesterday. Robert was a really good kid. He didn't deserve, he didn't deserve this. His father was killed when he was two years old. He never really, he never really got to know him. And then just a short time later, his mom passed away. She had cancer. And even though, even though he endured all that tragedy, he was still a loving boy. And a good kid, and my family misses him greatly. So we're just asking anybody, if they know something, please, please help us find the people who did this to us.
We're good. Thank you.